So Brittany. <laughs> leave that in, leave that in, leave that in, leave that in. <laughs> Hi guys! Long time no talk. It's been three friggin' weeks, almost four since I uploaded videos. I'm just gonna say this disclaimer. I'm gonna try to start uploading again. A lot of stuff to talk to you guys about, but, but I'll not right a different now. video. Yeah. It's all about me today. Today Brittany and I are going to be doing a sort of crazy boy experiences. This is why we're f crazy. See, you are crazy in all different types of languages. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what this video is going to be. Don't judge us. Do you want to start or do you want me to start? It's your video. Who do you want to go first? I'll go first since okay. you went first. Okay. okay. Hit that promo. See, she said when I went first and mine, go watch my video. <laughs> Kayla's not crazy. I am. People are crazy over Kayla. <laughs> this happened actually three months ago, but like you don't know who the person is. You probably know of him. It's that Tinder boy. Which one though? That one maybe? Oh, he's cute. And look at the dot. Like, look at it. Careful! I'm not. So just like... So I went to California in November. A lot of, you know, Viners and YouTubers and people like that live in California. LA. And there was this one specific Viner that I matched with. You might not know his name, I'm not gonna say it Who obviously, knows? but you probably have seen his Vines, that's all I'm gonna say. He messages me and sends me like this gift first and so I send him one back and he starts talking about that he's um like eating ice cream or something and I was like, what kind? And he told me and I was like, oh, that's so good, I need it. And he was like, okay, well, I'll save you some. So he started like flirting a little bit. Okay, I said, please do and he said, it's ready whenever you are with like the evil face and I was like I gotta go well, I was just trying to have fun and he just kind of was serious he was like oh so you're just visiting and I said yeah and he was like till when he said we got to hang out before you leave with like the eye emojis <laughs> and I was like till Wednesday so not very long I'm only here till Wednesday so it's probably not gonna happen but like if I'm when I'm here next like if you're down I'm down to hang out too and he just like replied and he was like uh lol and I was like it's okay if not I feel you and he was like you're that busy and I was like yeah. Nothing happened after that. He just wanted to like meet me and get intimate and then like drop me. You're that busy lol and I was like honey you're mine's so dead. <laughs> like you're not busy. I found his Twitter and like I looked up some of his tweets and a lot of his tweets are about how girls are crazy like you can't trust these hoes. Well, that explains a lot. Maybe that's because you're lot. finding them on Tinder yeah. and then when they say yeah. they can't hang out you get mad. You get, okay well that's how he thinks about girls anyway so I would never want to so, hang out with him. I'm telling two stories. Not two in, right now? Not, not in a row but like oh, okay. that's I'm only telling two on this channel. It's not the same boy but it's like the same friend group and they were a year older than me so this all happened when I was a junior and they mm -hmm. were seniors Sorry, when I was a junior this kid was like very 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 attractive but he was also known to be like the biggest man whore in all of mm -hmm. my school so he this is me just realizing what a <laughs> he is he's like messaging me and stuff and at first I'm like eh like whatever but I'm gonna reply because he's like friends with like a bunch of my friends we hung out in like a group setting and then he would tell me all the time he's like I want to date you and I was a smart little 16 year old girl and I was like no like you have a bad rep damn but I'm like the type of person like if you're like messaging I'm such like a basic girl that like every single person hates when he kind of started backing away that's when I was like wait what by the time I made an effort to like reach out to him again he was already talking to this late. girl but he would still text me he's like we're not gonna date right now like maybe when me and this girl when you date someone I'm like no like, it was my birthday and he's like I'm gonna see you on your birthday he's like Brit I'm out front he has his mom drop him off Gosh, and he's out with two dozen of roses like this is the most roses I've ever gone through except for you had a girlfriend oh he did still I thought they broke up no oh no so he's like I mean obviously I was pumped because I got like yeah. two dozen of roses is your did girlfriend you like not right then and there yeah. but how long after that he broke up with his girlfriend and then I still was like I can't date you he like talked to me for six months probably we were dating at this point and we go to a football game he's there with another girl oh, like a girl no. meets him there you guys were brings dating? him starbucks yes and like we have the same name too what like the whole game the whole game he's hanging out with her and not me and i'm like then he introduces me to his mom that night and then he like walks me out to the game and like kisses me goodbye and then I we broke up after that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so my story, my last story, was from my first, I guess, real relationship. <laughs> it started right before eighth grade and went through ninth grade, like all of ninth grade or something. So it was like a year, a year and a half, something like that. I don't know the timeline. It was like my first relationship, so I didn't know how feelings work. Nothing's changed. I liked him and we dated for like a month and then I broke up with him. And then he was like moving on and not showing me interest anymore. So I liked him again. One time he broke up with me just because he heard that I was gonna break up with him again. Why did you break up with me? And he was like, I was told that you were gonna do it. So I did it first. And I was like, oh. Literally people still do that. He like actually gets over me. And he starts dating my friend. Let's call her, 
Alexandra. When I was in middle school or whatever, I was really into going to my church and stuff because I had like a lot of friends. It was also I was about to make my confirmation. Yeah. Apparently, I don't remember this happening, but apparently there was one day in church where like they would go together and they would sit next to each other. And I was really sad because I saw them, so I stared at them for 15 minutes staring <laughs> mass. And they like watched me stare at them and I didn't know that I did it. Eventually, I got them to break up and then we dated and then we started dating at like this track meet or whatever. And I like laid on his shoulder like this and she took a picture and sent it to his mom. And she was like, look what your son's doing. She was really hurt by the fact that we were like starting to date again. And his mom was like, why are you sending me this? It was awkward. But we became friends again after that. And then we broke up because we went to two different high schools. I don't know why I told him the order I did because this happened before the flower guy. I remember like I'd always see pictures of people like going out to parties and stuff. And I was like, this looks so me. much fun. No, I'm not even kidding. Like so there was these, this one house and they had parties every weekend and they were always themed. And like only two people in my grade went to them. This upperclassman added me on Facebook and I recognized him from the party but I didn't know who he was or anything like that. I had never seen him at school. He started like poking me and then he messaged me and he was like talking to me one night and like right off the bat he was like super 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 flirty and I was like kind of excited because I was like this person is in the group. This is my in. I'm in. But then I see that he's like in a relationship with like that day like he put like I'm now in a relationship like yeah. I was like why are you messaging me? You just put on like literally yeah. 30 minutes ago that you're in a relationship and he was like it's just a joke. I believed him because A I didn't know the kid B, like they had no pictures together. I'd never seen them at school. So he literally messages me daily for months. And I literally got to the point where I was waiting at 1 a.m. When's Aww. gonna I just said his name. Oh. And then I saw that he like asked this girl to prom. One day she saw that like he got a text from me or he left his phone in the car and she like saw a text from us and he like messaged me that night and was like, hey, I'm sorry, like this is mainly my fault. I just wanna let you know that like I actually do have a girlfriend and like she's not really cool with it, like a doctor. That's thing. horrible. I know. <laughs> Right? This girl obviously hated me and I was really sad because this whole time and then he like they broke up and he texted me like the next day Me and that girl ended up being like best friends Aww. Yeah, like our moms are best friends her and I are best friends But for like six months just like lied to me about That's horrible. Yeah, okay. Well, that's our well, that's it. Boy yeah. stories. Hope they were entertaining <laughs> I think it's good that we like evened it out with like crappy things that boys have done also like that's because the we're not psycho crazy. things we that we've done Basically. We're psycho but some boys suck. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. We did another part of this over on Brittany's channel where we both told more crazy boy stories. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you guys want to go check that out, it'll be down in the description. If you don't want to check it out, do it anyways. Face. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I will see you guys next week. And um, Maybe. damn, a low blow. <laughs> I'm winded. Bye. Bye. Again. <laughs> Clutch. <laughs>